Hello everyone, we are going to review 10 Chinese characters. As some of them uh, are one of uh, the 214 Chinese radicals and also basic components of Chinese characters. Hello everyone, this is Sandy An for Hanja Bible, actually Chinese characters Bible. Uh, this time we are looking at together this character head, lid, tau, tau, tone number two value yeah, it has. Eleventh character. Now we finally entering, uh, we are finally entering into the two strokes characters. Congratulations. Okay, we are here now uh, in Korean language, Mori Du Tukong Du. Mori means head, Tukong means lid. Uh, the pronunciation in Korean language is Du, but in Chinese, uh, Tao, Tao, quite similar, isn't it? Uh, yeah, we have learned one stroke, 10 characters. Chonji in, Chonji in, sky, earth, and man. And the characters of creation and characters of movement. So these 10 one stroke characters are the whole fundamentals of Chinese characters. So uh, from this uh, time, we will uh, be looking at the two more uh, strokes characters. Okay, but uh, you can see these these characters are all characters uh, which has been made uh, by one stroke characters. Yeah, combinedly, actually. So it's quite interesting for you. Yeah, on the index, we will be looking at uh, so many uh, fundamental characters uh, rather on uh, the radicals and basic components of Chinese characters. Uh, I interpret uh, Chinese characters in a symbolic way, as I told you. So please feel comfortable. Yeah, we will be looking at all of these characters using the meanings, dictionary meanings and hidden meanings of the characters you have already learned step by step. It will be quite interesting, I hope, for you. Yeah, this character had two strokes, one of the radicals, all same shape. Uh, in Korean Hanja and Chinese traditional and Chinese simplified. Uh, in Korean, Mori Du, Tukong Du. In English, Hat, Lit. And Chinese pronunciation, Tao, Tao. Just like this, following the shape of the tone number two. Yeah, symbolic uh, analysis of this character, I mean interpretation, it's the meaning that sky, yeah, the, you remember the hidden meaning of this character dot, the meaning of that sky came down to the earth, yeah, hidden meaning earth, and became the head of the earth. This is the symbolic analysis 
and interpretation of this character philosophically yeah. following the oriental wisdom I would say yeah. uh, or in other words it's the meaning of a head receiving yeah, hidden meaning this character meaning land a vital energy yeah yeah hidden meaning a vital energy dot has from the sky or God if you remember the hidden meanings of these fundamental two characters of Chen Ji Yin uh, you will understand quite easily okay the meaning that sky came down to the earth and became the head of the earth also it's the meaning of a head receiving vital energy from the sky or God okay and the dictionary meaning head lead actually uh, this head lead uh, derives uh, into another meaning in the other characters upper part of a thing peak these are the remaining uh, meanings in the dictionary of uh, Korea and China but I would say uh, the hidden meanings very important uh, I have told you many times yeah, depending upon your uh, religion doesn't matter in each religion uh, there is a name for example uh, Muslim Allah uh, for Buddhism Buddha but in this case I would uh, <clears throat> say head of church Jesus Christ the reason why I would uh, suggest this concept of hidden meanings because hidden meanings whatever your religion might be uh, you can <clears throat> uh, adapt in your mind depending on your religion the head of your religion the name of your religion the creator of your religion so in this way uh, we are all brothers and sisters so never mind okay hidden meaning head lead the leader the Lord name doesn't matter okay uh, this character has also stroke changes in uh, many characters for example these characters uh, one uh, this means uh, writing a word and hit or strike you will be learning these characters later one by one but I would say at this moment the stroke change okay uh, <clears throat> this character meaning head we are learning this shape but in this character it is also written like this like this uh, there is one clear reason uh, for the people to fear how difficult to learn Chinese characters because this form this shape people don't teach as the same meaning of this character meaning head okay you need to remember the stroke change in this character meaning strike hit same 
yeah, this shape just like a hammer just like hammer just like hammer but it's also the head and here same stroke meaning head so please try to remember uh, the stroke changes of this character in so many characters I will explain one by one when it comes up so never mind at the moment and why this character has uh, the specific tone number two the head must always be lifted and listen to the will of God up above so tone number two uh, I have found uh, some logics yeah I, I was quite familiar with the uh, Chinese characters and Korean Hanja from my childhood because I started to learn but as foreigners speaking in English you may not right so uh, you need to remember the tone number principles yeah I will upload yeah, separately think about your head where is your head and be headed to be headed yeah I hope your head be lifted and listen to the will of God whatever your religion might be Buddha Allah Jesus Christ God whoever okay and another <clears throat> for a head to receive vital energy from the sky or God it should face and look upward the sky or God so turn number two yeah this character has the conceptual values of this of this looking or facing upward lifting raising your head thinking of <coughs> sorry thinking of God's will even praying to him okay what do you think about this interpretation including the tone number principle analysis for your memory if you like it please subscribe and thank you very much for your listening to the end and see you next time for another character thank you hello everyone this is Sandy Yan for Hanja Bible uh, number 12 the character uh, we are looking at is 10 the cross Shu, Shu. yeah we are learning uh, Korean Hanja and Chinese traditional and simplified Hanzi uh, 4000 characters we just started uh, this time we are looking at another mysterious uh, character 10 the cross Shu. yeah on the index uh, we are here now yeah. Uh, in Korean language, yol ship, shipjaga ship. Yeah. Yol means ten. Shipjaga means the cross. The Jesus Christ on the cross. S something like that. Okay. Yes, this character is two strokes radical. Yeah, all the same shapes Korean Hanja Chinese traditional and Chinese simplified meaning ten and the cross Shu Shu having tone number two value okay and this character and uh, symbolic analysis is 
it is the meaning of the combination of the heavenly one one heavenly one and all things and human beings this character do you remember the hidden meanings of these two characters to form the perfect and complete meaning and number 10 uh, the 10 means is a God's number meaning perfect perfection and all and many many uh, these are the remaining uh, dictionary meanings in Korean Hanja dictionary and Chinese dictionary and the hidden meanings of this character is uh, the cross Lord Jesus Christ this character is very very important uh, for you to learn uh, Chinese characters and Korean Hanja uh, another hidden meaning is perfect word God four directions even more than directions and also hand hand please try to remember these hidden meanings of this character uh, whenever I look at this character uh, that uh, reminds me of the Hebrew the first alphabet are left just like this are left Hebrew the first alphabet meaning one and God as well Elohim or yeah, something like that It's very mysterious, uh, the Hebrew alphabet as well. Anyway, I would say uh, <clears throat> this uh, character, the meaning of the combination of the heavenly one and all things. Heavenly one means God, Jesus Christ. Depending on your religion, uh, you may say, oh, it's Allah or it's Buddha or, or whoever, doesn't matter. Uh, please just imagine uh, the character's intrinsic nature, how it has been formed and transferred to the descendants. Okay? So the meaning of the combination of the heavenly one and all things and human beings, this character, the hidden meanings, to form the perfect and complete meaning and number 10. The cross, Lord Jesus Christ, perfect word, God, four directions, ten directions, and hand. Uh, the meaning of the hand we can find in the stroke changes in many characters in Chinese characters for example left and right uh, let me tell you the ten we are learning this character but in some other characters, this character's shape changes like this. Under it, if we write it, 
it means left or if we write in this way it means right I will explain this character later when it comes up okay uh, so just please try to remember the stroke of this character can be modified or change it into this just like this okay and the next question uh, for the Chinese character learners why this character has tone number two value the Lord on the cross was always toward the will of God above so tone number two uh, when Jesus came down to the earth uh, as a man, he just thought about the God's will and prayed to him, to God. Uh, so the value of the con concept uh, in this way, I just remember this character has the tone number two value. Uh, and the Bible verses and being found in fashion as a man he humbled himself and became obedient unto death even the death of the cross okay uh, I just hope you just can feel uh, the character's hidden meaning through these Bible verses. Yeah, Hebrew, the first character, meaning number one. Number one means everything, actually. So the ten, the perfect number, and so many numbers. Okay. It's very mysterious and strange, but wonderful uh, to me. What do you think about this interpretation of the ideogram and pictogram in between uh, Korean Hanja, Chinese characters, and Hebrew? Okay, now thank you very much for your listening to the end, and see you next time. Hello everyone, this is Sandy An for Hansa Bible, actually Chinese Characters Bible, uh, number 13. Uh, this time we are going to look at uh, this character, meaning soy. The pronunciation is to, to, on the index we are here now. This character uh, is the combination of these two characters we have already uh, learned, meaning soil. Yeah, this character is three strokes, one of the radicals. How this character has got the meaning of soil? It's the combination of these two uh, characters. Yeah, in Korean language, we pronounce it hook to. Hook to. Hook means soil. To means it's a pronunciation in Korean language. Okay. Uh, symbolic analysis of this character is uh, God of the world humbly came down to the earth. Yeah. This character means God, Jesus Christ, right? The hidden meaning. And this character, yeah, Chanjin, the second character, meaning earth, and made the soil, uh, which is the source of all physical life. This character reminds me of the Bible verses, the Genesis. 
And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground, and breathed into his nose the breath of life, and man became a living soul. Right? Uh, so this character on the ground, God. Okay? So this character became the soil, the source of all physical life. Okay, so the dictionary meaning of this character, soil, earth, land, dust, clay, local, indi <coughs> sorry, indigenous, unsophisticated, and surname. Uh, these uh, dictionary meanings uh, remained in Korean uh, Hanja dictionary and Chinese dictionaries. Okay, and why tone number three? Uh, all soil is like a vessel and it accepts and embraces everything. The soil uh, accepts and embraces everything. So tone number three. Vessel, container, receptacle, embracing, acceptant. So this character has uh, these uh, conceptual values. So I would say that's why this character has the tone number three value. Okay. So you need to. So you can easily remember this character has the tone number three value two two. Okay. Actually, you can write this character in this order. Yeah. God came down to the earth and made the soil, the land. What do you think about this uh, <clears throat> interpretation? Do you agree with this? Anyway, uh, thank you very much for your uh, listening to the end and uh, see you next time. Thank you. Hello everyone, uh, this is Sandy An for Hanja Bible, uh, actually Chinese characters Bible, uh, number 14. Uh, we are looking at this character this time, meaning scholar, true man. The pronunciation is shi, shi, in Mandarin. On the index, we are here now. It's the combination of these two characters, uh, meaning scholar, true man. This character has three strokes, one of the radicals. And in Korean Hanja, uh, Chinese traditional and simplified, all same shape. In Korean language, uh, we teach this character, 선비사, 진정한 사람, 사. 선비 means scholar, 진정한 사람 means true man. Sa is the pronunciation in Korean language, and Mandarin Chinese pronunciation is shi, shi, having the tone number four value, just like this, shi, from up to down, your sound, okay? And uh, this character is quite similar with uh, the soil. The soil you have learned like this, yes, soil, but this character meaning true man is like this, a shorter one here. Yeah, uh, traditionally people taught this character like this, typical interpretation. 
before a scholar a scholar who knows nearly everything from one yeah, meaning one to ten <laughs> in his field yeah, so uh, maybe you, you may wish to remember this character uh, in this way or a wise man wise man uh, if he listens to one then he knows up to ten <laughs> Yeah, a little bit funny uh, meaning making but I, I would suggest uh, just like this in a symbolic interpretation it is the meaning of a true man true man who carries his own cross yeah cross do you remember the hidden meanings of this character, Jesus Christ, on the cross yeah, and lives on this earth, yeah, hidden meaning, earth, with it? The meaning of a true man who carries his own cross and lives on this earth with it. This character reminds me of the Bible verses and that and he that take not his cross and follow after me is not worthy of me yeah. actually uh, I have studied uh, Chinese characters and Korean Hamcha for many years including the tone number principles but I would say I would suggest to you if you know the Bible stories from the Genesis to the Revelation uh, you may understand all Chinese characters quite easily I don't know <laughs> I don't know but that's what I have found that's what I have found yeah, including the principles of tone numbers Yes, so that's why I try to uh, deliver this message. Uh, do you know the Hebrew uh, characters? 22 consonants? Yeah, Aleph, the first character. Uh, did I mention it? Uh, it's just like this. Man. Yeah, just like this. Uh, this character reminds me of the cross. Okay, so in this character, meaning a true man, uh, is the combination of the cross on the earth. Okay. Uh, very uh, mysterious but uh, I have to say uh, this message uh, the dictionary meaning of this character Scala in the olden days uh, this was meant uh, a person who has knowledge but has no uh, ministerial position bachelor management man a military soldier or a walk duties a specialist walker and surname uh, the, the dictionary meanings in korean uh, dictionary and chinese dictionary but hidden meaning uh, is important hidden meanings are <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, for you to for you to know, yeah, it's good. Uh, hidden meanings is the person who moves forward without giving up. Uh, the true Son of Man, Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, if you know the story of Jesus Christ, he came down to the earth and carried his own cross right 
cross. On the earth he carried. Okay, that's the true man. Why this uh, character has the tone number 4 value? The Jesus Christ who redeemed our sins was a priceless free gift from God for all of us. But he was destined to die for that purpose. So tone number 4. Uh, there are many uh, values conceptual values of the tone numbers principle uh, man-made worldly subject to death destined to die and precious gift from sky or god whatever your religion you have uh, doesn't matter yeah uh, in hanja in chinese characters I think uh, the Chinese characters uh, have been had been invented by the descendants of Noah, and I believe uh, the Korean ancestors Tongyi yeah, invented uh, Hanja and Chinese characters. So. Uh, Inevitably, uh, if it is true in Hanja and Chinese characters, the fingerprint of God and the stories of the Bible uh, from the beginning, uh, when it was invented, are uh, still uh, fingerprinted on the Chinese characters, actually uh, originated uh, Korean Hanja. From Korean Hanja. So, in this way, uh, please try to remember uh, the messages, the messages still remaining in Hanja and Chinese characters. The God's fingerprint is still remains. Okay. What do you think about all of this reinterpretation of? Hanja and Chinese characters. Very uh, mystery, mysterious and strange. Maybe to you, but it was to me. But uh, my study uh, of uh, Chinese characters uh, has been deeper and deeper, and then I found the true stories of Hanja and Chinese characters. Okay, if you like it, please subscribe and thank you for your listening to the end and see you next time. Hello everyone, this is Sandy Yan uh, from South Korea. Uh, also for Hanja and uh, Chinese characters Bible. Uh, this time the 15th character, uh, this character meaning divination divine on the index we are here uh, in korean language uh, yeah jumbo jumchilbo yeah. jum means divination jumchil means divine yeah, south korean pronunciation of this character is pop Yeah, jumbo, jumchil bok, divination, divine. Uh, this character is two stroke, radical. Uh, Korean hanja and Chinese characters are all same in shape. This character uh, is the combination of these two characters okay and uh, the symbolic analysis and interpretation of this character is it is the meaning that a man yeah 
you have learned this character? One of the Chanji in Sky, Earth, and Man. The third character, meaning man, in hidden meanings. The meaning that a man divines or forecasts. Yeah, the meaning. The future to save life. The hidden meanings of this character dot to uh, in life, light, God. Yeah, please try to remember uh, by going back to the previous, the first character. Yeah, the first character. If you don't know. Uh, the pronunciation in Chinese language, uh, it's tone number three. Bo, bo, tone number three. Conceptual value. But sometimes it is pronounced bo, bo. Uh, for example, uh, if you see this character, Robo, Robo, meaning uh, radish, edible, yeah, radish. Uh, in Chinese language, uh, this pronunciation happens uh, in some cases. Uh, when you use or eat or uh, in so many cases if you need this character uh, it tends to be this type of uh, very simple short and light pronunciation we call it Gyeongseong okay uh, so, the dictionary meaning of this character, divine, forecast, let people know, estimate, foretell, predict, choose, even preach, tell fortunes, fortune telling, surname, uh, these dictionary meanings uh, remained in the Korean uh, Hanja dictionary and Chinese dictionaries. Okay. Uh, hidden meanings. Yeah, this uh, character is, uh, is sort of very uh, mysterious character from my viewpoint. Uh, in the olden days, in the olden days, this character reminds me of uh, the good man who delivered God's message. But uh, as time goes by, uh, corruption has been made uh, from original meaning. It is God's hatred that man does not receive what God has given in the world and communicate it with his own greed. Uh, this character also reminds me of the Bible story of Jonah. Have you ever uh, read of it? <laughs> If not, uh, please try to uh, read. A very mysterious and strange story in it. And why tone number? Those who preach the word of God shall do it by patience humbleness and obedience. So tone number three. I have already addressed in English 
the tone number principles 1, 2, uh, 3, and 4. Okay, uh, in my channel. So, the original meaning of this character, uh, this character reminds us of uh, the good meaning originally made by whom by whom who had to deliver the God's message to the world people in patience humbleness and in obedience by accepting it embracing it in tolerance in a humble and modest and obedient manner okay I don't know what do you think about uh, what you think about this interpretation but uh, Hanja and Chinese characters was created as well according to the mind and spirit of the Bible words from my viewpoint so in this way I interpret in a symbolic way of analysis and in biblical way of analysis uh, you may try to learn Chinese characters through this Bible verses as well uh, it is God's hatred that man does not receive what God has given to him or her in the world and communicate it with his own greed. It's God's hatred. Okay, but the original meaning of this character was so good, like Jonah. Okay? Thank you very much for your listening to the end and see you next time for another character. Thank you. Hello everyone, uh, Chinese character Bible, uh, Korean Hanja and Chinese traditional and simplified yeah, characters. We just started to go for 4,000 uh, Chinese characters. Uh, number 16 is this character meaning two. Yeah, we are here now and we have learned these 15 characters one by one okay yeah this character is two strokes one of the radicals in Korean Hanja Chinese traditional and simplified all same shape it's a combination of two characters we have already already learned and in Korean language, uh, we teach do e. Do means to. E means a Korean pronunciation of this character. In Chinese pronunciation, uh, with pinyin and uh, tone number on the vowel, R. R. It's tone number four. The symbolic analysis and interpretation of this character it means that the sky one and the earth one combined together and made two or the meaning of one wooden stick falling from top to bottom of one wooden stick the other wooden stick so forming two once again, it means that the sky and the earth has hidden meanings and of this character. E, uh, it means that the sky one and the earth one combined together and made two. Also, the meaning of one wooden stick falling from top to bottom, one wooden stick 
and forming two okay so just like this just like this uh, a wooden stick fell to the other wooden stick sky and earth so the hidden meaning is sky and the earth hidden meaning is very important uh, please try to remember and the dictionary meaning just two uh, but uh, uh, Beijing yeah in China uh, Beijing uh, dialect it means stupid I don't know why why Beijing uh, people uh, gave uh, the meaning of stupid to this noble uh, character sky and earth I don't know anyway uh, why this tone number four has the specific tone number four this character uh, the meaning of one wooden stick one wooden stick falling from top to bottom one wooden stick forming two yeah a wooden stick fell down from up to bottom to the other to the other stick so uh, from up to down fair okay so with these uh, conceptual values uh, we can remember this character has uh, tone number four value okay okay what do you think about this uh, interpretation uh, if you wish you may wish uh, you may uh, learn uh, the Korean Hanja and English and Chinese uh, characters through Bible verses this character reminds me of this Bible verses uh, therefore shall a man live his father and his mother and shall cleave unto his wife and they shall be one flesh yet yeah, two people man and woman got together and shall be one flesh so uh, two became one flesh it's very uh, mysterious and uh, yeah a wonderful concept isn't it okay thank you very much for your listening and see you next time for another chinese character thank you see you next time hello everyone uh, this time we are going to look at this character number 17 meaning true walker or walk uh, we have looked at these three characters meaning sky earth and man and the characters of creation four characters and the characters of movement three characters and combination of these 10 one stroke characters made these characters on the index we are now here this character is also the combination of these characters meaning true walker and walk This character is three strokes, one of the radicals, combination of uh, two and man. Okay, and Korean Hanja and Chinese traditional and simplified are all in same shape. In Korean language, we teach Jangin Gong, Jangin Gong. Jangin means 
true worker. And il gong. Il means walk. Chinese pronunciation is gong, gong, having tone number one value. The symbolic meaning, uh, symbolic interpretation of this character is this is the meaning of a true walker who penetrates and connects, penetrates and connects this character. Do you remember uh, the just reasons between sky, heaven, and earth? This character meaning two, uh, its hidden meaning was uh, sky and earth, okay? So the meaning of a true walker who penetrates and connects, connects the just reasons between sky, heaven, and earth, okay? The dictionary meaning of this character walk, true walker, craftsman, skill, profession, craft, labor. The hidden meaning is important. Yeah, uh, Jesus Christ, the true walker. Son of Man, God. Uh, uh, we are talking about a totally new way of learning Chinese characters yeah, through hidden meanings. Through hidden meanings. And also we are talking about the principles of tone numbers. Okay? Uh, if you look at uh, if you look at the tone number principles, uh, we need to accept these hidden meanings to have a very smooth uh, interpretation and to get uh, conceptual values for each character's tone number. Okay, uh, so. Uh, looking at the Bible uh, has not the potter power over the clay of the same lump to make one vessel unto honor and another unto dishonor. Yeah, uh, in the Bible there are some uh, Bible uh, words uh, which mention God as, as the true walker who walks with, with the lump of clay to make something. That means the God. Okay, uh, so it's very interesting uh, for the Bible uh, to mention uh, God as the creator with a lump of clay. He walks with a lump of, uh, lump of clay to make something for honor and dishonor. Okay, uh, so these hidden meanings came from, came from the Bible, uh, I mean. Uh, why tone number one, this character, has the tone number one value? The heart and walk of a true craftsman uh, consistently sincere, honest, and just. So, Tom number one. Consistent, unchanging, sincere, honest, and just. Okay, so 
uh, we can remember this character has tone number one value. Gong, gong, gong. Okay, what, what do you think about this interpretation? Uh, you can make, uh, you can leave a message uh, here and I will look at and respond to it. If you can make some comments or uh, leave your opinion, I will uh, look at before uh, the book uh, will be ex uh, published next year. Thank you very much for your listening and see you next time. Hello everyone, this is Sandy Yan for Hanja Bible, actually Chinese characters Bible. Uh, number 18. Number 18, we are going to look at this character. Sun, Sun, uh, meaning three, and Trinity. Okay. On the index, we are here now. Sun. The pronunciation of this character meaning three. Yeah, this character is the combination of three characters we have already looked at. Okay, this character is three strokes character, not radical, and the combination of three characters we have already looked at, uh, all the same shape in Korea and in Taiwan and China. China. In Korean language, uh, we teach like this. Sok sam. Sok means three. Sam is the pronunciation. A Chinese pronunciation in mainland China is san, san, uh, tone number one, tone number one. The symbolic interpretation of this character is it is the meaning that sky, earth, and man combine into one to form the three of them. Okay, uh, you have learned this character uh, among the Chanji in meaning sky, earth, and man. The second character uh, meaning earth, but Chanji in is circulating and representing uh, and communicating uh, among them and each other. So uh, this character E, E uh, meaning the sky, earth, and man as well. So combine into one to form the three of them. In other interpretation, the three respectively perfect one three respectively perfect one three of them got together and became the perfect trinity trinity yeah so dictionary meaning as uh, three in china surname as well and the hidden meaning is important uh, this Chinese character reminds me uh, of the Hebrew uh, characters. Do you know uh, the fact uh, that Hebrew language is also an ideogram and pictogram? The first character Aleph, Beit, Gimel uh, represents uh, Holy Father. Holy Son and Holy Spirit. Okay, uh, just like uh, Hebrew, uh, Chinese characters are also uh, ideogram and pictogram. Yeah, so uh, it has some hidden meanings in addition to the dictionary meanings. So hidden meanings, I would say sky heaven earth and man yeah. sky earth and man holy father son and spirit god in trinity also uh, another hidden meaning 
yeah. often repeatedly frequently yeah. there are some ca characters which uh, includes uh, this character when you uh, interpret those characters you are going to use this dictionary meaning in addition to the hidden meanings okay uh, hidden meanings are very important uh, because uh, the Trinity <coughs> God in Trinity uh, communicates among them and each other yeah sky earth and man as well okay uh, father mother and son and daughter communicates among them every day so uh, hidden meanings uh, came from uh, those uh, conceptual values often repeatedly frequently in everyday life they communicate that's the Trinity okay uh, if we look at the Bible uh, and three are and there are three that bear witness in earth the spirit and the water and the blood and these three agree in one maybe uh, the spirit and the water maybe in walking in baptized and the blood the Jesus Christ blood on the cross yeah. these three agree in one it's very uh, wonderful and mysterious uh, verse in the Bible and uh, we are going to study Chinese characters in this way just like the study of Hebrew characters with hidden meanings and the symbolic interpretation and analysis okay and why tone number one the God in Trinity is eternally same sincere and just so tone number one God is same to anybody okay uh, God is consistent unchanging sincere and honest he's just right fair and righteous that's the val conceptual value of the Trinity God okay in this way you can easily remember this character Sun meaning three has the tone number value one okay uh, thank you very much for your listening and see you next time hello everyone this is Sandy Yan. the 19th character uh, this time this character we are learning easily and quickly in uh, symbolic hidden meaning and biblical ways of interpretation uh, of the Chinese characters this character means king two uh, pronunciations we will look at on the index uh, we are here this character is the combination of uh, two characters we already learned yeah uh, all same in shapes in Korea and in Taiwan and in mainland China yeah, this character meaning king and rule yeah four strokes one of the radicals okay combination of these two character in Korean language uh, we teach Ingum Wang Dasril Wang Ingum means king Dasril means rule 
the verb and Chinese pronunciation in mainland China the standard Chinese language Wang Wang having the tone number two value also there is another tone number value one one tone number four okay uh, I already addressed uh, the tone number principle yeah, as a separate lecture uh, for two and uh, four uh, below this uh, <clears throat> lecture you can find the link uh, so let's go on on that basis uh, we are we are interpreting each character by symbolic and signatory uh, manner so uh, this character means the true king the true king connects sky heaven and earth and man all three together into one the true king the true king connects yeah connects sky heaven earth and man all three of those together into one what the interpretation is the true king rules over rules over do you remember the hidden meaning of this character yeah rules over the heaven earth and man from up to down the dictionary meaning of this character king monarch the best or strongest of its type grand great and in mainland china surname uh, when uh, this character is pronounced one the tone number four this one one uh, which means to rule to reign over or to govern okay uh, from up to down uh, ruling or reigning over and governing is made so that's having the tone number four value a uh, hidden meaning is very important hidden meaning uh, in biblical interpretation uh, I would say King of Kings God Jesus Christ okay uh, King of Kings Lord of Lords this character uh, has the values of king of kings and lord of lords okay as hidden meanings please try to remember yeah, who is your real king the true king okay uh, very mysterious and uh, wonderful character so why tone number two our true king God exists in the above as the perfection so tone number two it being existing in the high above uh, who is perfect full intact almighty and faultless so tone number two uh, why tone number four when we are talking about ruling reigning over and governing one one tone number four yeah uh, the king's rule is coming down from top to bottom so tone number four okay uh, the king's rule is coming down from top to bottom so uh, when this character is used to mean to rule reign over 
or to govern is tone number four. Okay. Uh, what do you think about all of this interpretation up to the tone number principle application? Okay, thank you very much for your listening to the end and see you next time. Hello everyone, this is Sandy Yan, uh, Chinese character Bible, Hanja Bible, uh, the character number 20. This character meaning beat or jade. All the lecture materials, uh, the link is below. You can see. Yeah, on the index, we are here now. This is the combination of two characters we have already looked at, meaning beat or jade. This character is five strokes, one of the radicals. Okay, same shape, Korean Hanja, uh, Chinese traditional and simplified. In Korean language, we teach Kusul Ok or Ok Ok. Kusul, kusul means beat, Ok means jade. Chinese pronunciation with pinging and uh, tone. We, we, just like this, having tone number four value. Okay, the symbolic and signatory interpretation of this character is the precious stone symbolizing life given to the king by God was the jade okay uh, from the shape you cannot make this uh, the meaning so only the symbolic analysis and interpretation of this character uh, with the combination of a king and dot yeah is making bead or jade the precious stone symbolizing life. Do you remember this character meaning life or light or God? Yeah. The precious stone symbolizing life given to the king. Yeah, king. By God was the jade, the precious stone. So the dictionary meaning of this character be it jade. That's beautiful, excellent. Yeah, what uh, what I going to do with bead or jade? It's yeah, cultivate, cherish. The hidden meaning is important. Yeah, <clears throat> actually, uh, when this character is uh, being used independently, it means bead or jade. But when this character is used in other characters as a part of it, it means king. Okay, so in characters, king and bead or jade is same. Uh, even though their shapes are different from each other. And why this character having is having a tone number four? The jade is a gift from God given to kings on the earth from up to down. So tone number four. From up to down, a precious gift from sky or God. If you look at the Bible verse, and they saw the God of Israel, and there was under his feet, as it were a paved walk of a sapphire stone. Sapphire stone, sapphire stone uh, is a kind of jade. 
the blue jay in this Bible words and in Korean language. Israel 하나님을 보니 그발 아래에는 청옥을 편듯하고 하늘같이 청명하더라. So in this way, a sapphire stone is also a kind of jade. Okay. So what do you think about this uh, interpretation method, including the tone number principle and hidden meanings of this character? Okay, thank you very much for your listening to the end and see you next time.